So let me ask you guys, would you pay 50 million for this? Maybe I'm the fool here. They say when you negotiate, you have to start low and then you build up. But that's when you deal with regular people. Daniel Levy is not regular people. And for whatever reason, he thinks he can get a premium for Kane, you know, whose contract actually runs out like next year. Personally, I don't see this deal happening. Do you really see Bayern spending a hundred mil on one player, given their history, and what's wrong with their current goat? Over in Spain, it looks like it's finally done after so much back and forth, with nobody knowing for sure. We saw Roque is going to be a Barca player in 2024. So, 30 million euros fixed fee, 26 million euros in add-ons for performances, goals, and trophies. And, check this out, a 5 million euro add-on if he's in the top three of the Ballon d'Or. Now, the kid looks good, but not spectacular, aka when we saw Arnan as a teenager. But he's young, talented, and maybe this is the move that can make him truly shine and follow in the footsteps of... to Italy and the home of the champions and all eyes on Victor Osime and whether the highly rated striker will move this summer. Yeah, I'm still salty. I'll always be salty. But you're going to have to deal with our friend here, Mr. De Laurentiis, who says he expects Osime to be wearing a Napoli jersey next year and only a worthwhile bid will make him even try to consider. And if that happens, he says he can replace the Vic. And over in Manchester, someone must be smoking that good stuff. So let me ask you guys, would you pay 50 million for this? Yeah, exactly. So why have Man United reportedly put a 50 mil price tag on the mag? Maybe someone will meet them halfway and do something like, but honestly, he shouldn't go for anything more than. Now, as for Onana, he is very close to joining and the Hag expects to confirm his signing sometime this week. Now, what would be the reaction of the De Gea FC or De Gea sexuals when Onana makes his first mistake? Now, let's look at Chelsea, where Pochettino is in the full swing of things and getting to grips with the team. And there are reports that he has his eyes on these two. Look, Chelsea are in need of a pure striker. It's me streets. None of my friends speak. We all trying to win. No, 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 no. Now, Vlavic or Simeon for me would actually be ideal. Either of those guys, let's ride. Just as long as it's into this guy. Asking for forgiveness for my sins is I break bread. Now, you remember when the Chinese Super League were making all those deals back in the day? I think the Saudi Pro League are far more serious. The latest is Milinkovic Savic, who is close to making a move over to that pro league. Now, he is 28 years old. He's right in his prime, and this would yet be a great school for the league. They've already acquired Benzema, Kansi, Firmino, and it looks like they're not done yet. Look, we laughed at him. We mocked him. <laughs> we threw abuse at him. But maybe he was right all along. Support the kid by becoming a Patreon member. Your support on this platform would really be appreciated. And as a thank you, gain access to some exclusive content crack for you all to enjoy. And you can also take a little bit of a sneak peek at videos for free just to get a vibe of the content you will get on there. Choose your tier and enjoy that content crack on patreon.com forward slash half hope. We ride.